Hey, what is up guys, it's Mike, and welcome to behind the scenes of the film Buster, day one. I figured before we start anything, I'll go over the equipment real quick in case anyone was wondering. So, we're filming on a Sony A7S, a Canon EF mount, and then a Zeiss 28mm f2 lens. So this bad boy right here. And this is a really great camera for low light, and it does 1080p video really, really well. But, we're gonna step it up a notch for the film with an Atomos Ninja Flame, and what this does is the Sony can record 1080p internally at 50 megabits per second, but the A7S can output 4K. This recorder basically can take that 4K output raw and it can compress it to 4K ProRes 422, which is much higher quality. This little mount goes right here. And the one thing about this is that there's going to be a bit of stress on the hot shoe right here because of all this weight. So we're going to have to hold it a little differently when we do film, but it should be fine. So then we take a micro HDMI, put it into the camera. We put a full size HDMI into the recorder. I think that's mostly it in terms of equipment. The tripod that we're using is what this camera is on right now. It's just a basic fluid head tripod. So. Nothing too fancy, but that's equipment. Okay, so in terms of shooting this film, we're not shooting it typically where you have close-ups and over-the-shoulder shots and all that stuff. We're treating it like we were shooting a film in the 1920s with certain aspects. For example, Buster Keaton films really, the camera's kind of placed like if you were watching a play. It's placed where the best seat in the house would be and you just see the stage and you punch in and you punch out, but there's really not a lot of movement, not a lot of different angles. It's mostly front on. So that's the methodology we're going with filming. And then obviously it's a silent film, so there's no sound. So today's a really quick day. It's basically one scene where Elliot is sitting in his room listening to modern day music and he doesn't like it so he's trying to change the station he ends up breaking his radio and then he goes outside but to prep for that we need a radio and i think just a light in my room so there's really not a lot today but what i'm going to do instead is make a giant baguette or hopefully try to start and make a giant baguette we are at a bakery where i need to get the baguettes it's called i don't want to mess it up but pandavion that's, I'm sorry, it's probably horrible. But anyways, I'm not gonna bring the camera in there just because it's also a cafe and like people are eating there and I don't wanna open the door and be like, uh, how many baguettes do you have? And like have a camera in their face. So I'm just gonna go in and hopefully I will come out with a lot of baguettes. So wish me luck. Baguettes acquired. So I ended up, I got 10 baguettes. They smell good and <laughs> I have them. Let's make a giant baguette. Okay, so the way the scene is gonna work is both of the guys are gonna order a piece of a baguette. Then Buster, the character, is gonna want a bigger baguette than the other guy, Gillette. So he's gonna order a bigger baguette. Then that keeps going on and on and on and on until we have a full baguette. That's still not good enough for them though, so Buster wants a bigger baguette and that's where this comes in and we're gonna make a very big baguette. About seven baguettes are needed to fill the whole thing. I'm going to use eight baguettes because we're going to cut part of it and I think we should be good. Okay, so this is the mistake of a baguette that I bought. So what's going to happen is I think they're each going to get a piece like from here and then that same size right here. Now we double that and keep going till it gets ridiculous. It's very essential that you organize said baguettes. Two of these, half of this baguette, each one of them. So this, about right here. Okay, that's it. I've used four baguettes, I have six left. I'm gonna cut six inches off this pipe just as a safety so we have enough baguettes. Done. These are the two end pieces of the baguette. And 
there it is. This is the baguette in its full glory. It's like probably nine feet long. I had to cut it a little bit, but it's, it's a tank. How they possibly get all these people together, but that's what it was. They're all under contract. They're all under contract at the time, you know? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's be like impossible now. Because everyone's yeah. like, oh, you yeah, saw yeah, Big uh, Short, Big Short. Big Short. Now, there's a lot of people in it too, you know what I mean? There's yeah. A lot. So, like, those are his, his close ups, the ones that he So, that's what I was thinking about when I said, um, I forgot, like, cutaways? Yeah, know. they're like super abrupt. Yeah, it's not like, like a smooth cut at all. It's like, this is what you need to look at right now. Yeah. And well, it's basically like he's coming up to the doorway. See, this is the window. He comes down the street, goes out the door, looks through the window. I come up, intercept him. Offer him a seat right there. And so Ellen's always in view of Buster? Yeah. Does Ellen she notice can him? see Buster? She notices him. She sees him. Yeah. It's just a matter of getting her to look and then having Gillette not look. Okay, so we're on set right now. We're just running through a few things, trying to get the shots planned out. Uh, they're not closed yet, so there's still people here. So I'm going to spin it around and record it, but hopefully no one gets mad. Late tomorrow, release party. Man, I'm tough and I'm plastered. Sort of happy I ain't blow up any faster. So right now, we're planning out some shots. So this is Tyke, and we're seeing like what angle we want him to come from. And then this is, that's Baker, this is where we'll be filming. Okay, so Elliot just got here, he's shaving, getting into the part for Buster Keaton, and the film has officially started to start. So here we go, and um, I'll show you him in a second. There he is, Buster himself. That's right. Tightest outfit, the tightest outfit ever in a, in a girl's jacket. <laughs> oh, wait, put the hat on. And then I'll be told what to do. Yes, sir. <gasps> Boom. Boom. Buster. Buster. Holy crap. You ready to film? Never been more ready in my life. <laughs> all right, so we are on set, which is my room, but for all intents and purposes, it's Buster's room. That's right. And, um,. I'm gonna set the camera up and we're just gonna do it. Sound good? I like it. It's almost there. I finally got it to do 4K. If you were to just stare straight at me for a second. To this on the ground and cut to the, uh, you opening the wallet, but the whole performance would be one take. Okay. Buster Keaton, take one, scene one, action. <laughs> I was slow, let me capture experiences while I grow up as a bachelor. Make a while I'm traveling the Atlas. 